emulsion that they've created. Here is my emulsion from Beats, my emulsion from Azaleas, my emulsion from The Roses. Uh, you need some kind of paper and paintbrushes. Any kind of paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, you could just pour the liquid onto the paper. You could try to dip the paper in there. Um, just some way that you can get all that yummy stuff onto some paper. Um, as far as paper goes, I have some watercolor paper. I have some paper I ripped out of sketchbooks that I've never used. Um, you could use uh, paper from your printer, um, old notes, pages from books you don't read, any kind of paper will do. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna start with a little beet juice because I have tons of it. And I'm going to paint it on the paper. one beat one down let's see yeah I'll use one of these and a different brush and I'm going to try my rose emulsion sorry my children are being crazy in the background okay so the rose emulsion has turned kind of like a brown color it was really purple at first and now it's pretty light and it's very brown. So I'm not quite sure how this one's gonna turn out. It was rose petals and alcohol, like isopropyl alcohol. And it smells like the doctor's office. So I'm gonna wanna get this one as dark as possible because it's so light to begin with. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then do a second coat once it's not so wet. Okay, next I have the azalea, which is also a really light color. It looks pink in the cup and yellow on the paper. It's totally weird. So remember, you never know what the petals are actually going to look like as a motion. So my um, flower petals made really, really light emulsions. And I wouldn't worry too much about this getting on the table as I paint with it. Um, but the beet juice, I was really worried about it staining uh, my white table here. So I have this plastic down. If you have like newspaper or something to put down, that's really good. Um, I did not, so I'm using this lid that I use a lot for art. Messy art. And this is super light, like you can barely see it. No idea how this is gonna turn out in the sun. It may completely disappear. So it's all a big experiment. Um, the rose on the paper is getting a little bit darker as it sits, so that's kind of promising. And the beet juice, of course, looks awesome. So I'm gonna add my second layer on my beet juice one. They're really thick and dark. And that's it. So that's how you're going to coat your paper. Um, you're just going to paint on whatever emulsion you created and paint it onto some kind of paper surface. And then you're going to let the paper dry before you ever um, put it out for exposure. So, you know, in one day you should make your emulsion and paint it on while it's nice and fresh and then let your paper dry. Um, and you want to kind of leave your paper um, in the dark. It's not like you need to be in a dark room but sunlight would um, you know, cause this to bleach and lighten. So don't leave it in the sun, just leave it somewhere where it can be undisturbed and dry in the dark. 
until you're ready to make your print with it. All right, that's it.